Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Self Start Coding. So in this video, we are going to go through the introduction part, the walkthrough of all the screens that we are going to develop in this shopping cart video series using ASP.NET Blazor server side. So the first screen which we have is the admin screen. This is the login page of admin panel. Here we have the email ID and the password. Using this screen, whenever user clicks on login, it will navigate the uh, admin admin inside the admin panel the next screen after authentication is the admin panel here we have the home the product categories the products stock orders and the master settings and on the dashboard we have the products category manage categories and the stock the next screen we have is the template which we have used here is the default uh, asp.net blazor template which is provided as part of the default website the next screen is this categories when a user click on categories we have this screen and here we can uh, we just have to enter the name and click on save when user clicks on save then he will be redirected and the whatever category he is giving that category will be saved in the database and for that we have the edit and the delete when user clicks on edit now he can edit the name of the category and click on update and if he's not interested in editing then he can click on cancel the next is the delete button if user clicks on delete the administrator then he will be asked to either is he sure like it's a confirmation box and after products we have the cat, uh, categories we have the products so here we have to simply uh, enter the name of the product the price the stock the initial stock and uh, the category whatever we have ad added in the above categories part then we have to select one photograph of it then save to save it once user clicks on save then it will get saved here and here we don't we are not giving any delete editing option we just have delete the next part is the products delete if user click on delete then the confirmation will we have this confirmation dialog box the next is the stock then whatever user uh, stock is available and added in the product section that is all available here we can update the stock for example this violet jacket we have few uh, up new stock then we can add simply click on add stock then we can add a new stock and the total st available stock plus new stock it will show here the total stock and we can simply update it then this is the <coughs> user side whatever settings or whatever products are being updated from the admin panel all those will be available here so here we have the header the side menu the main dashboard and the footer and here we have the home welcome register login and uh, for this we have in the uh, for the main uh, product menu we have this uh, if user clicks on menswear then it will show menswear if user clicks on kidswear it will show the kids here and uh, we have the name of the product the image price the stock available and add to cart if user clicks on add to cart then the counter will get increased here we if user clicks on remove cart then the counter on the cart it will get subtracted from the cart and here we have the second kids wear so similarly whatever user enters from the admin panel the number of categories and the number of products it will get automatically get updated the next screen we have is the cart and whatever are products are added in the cart those we can remove it from here we can update the quantity and then automatically it will show the subtotal shipping charges and everything and then user can update the address where he wants to get it delivered and then click on checkout if he clicks on checkout and he is not logged in then user will be redirected on the login screen and show you the login screen here is the login screen if user clicks on login screen then he if he is not registered he can click on register and get it get himself registered so here if he register if he registers and if he clicks on register then if you see here it will show welcome the name of the customer then the menu gets changed here if you see it's register login now it becomes my account and log out okay so if he clicks on my account and uh, then he can have my account change password and order history and simply if he clicks on the number of this cart here we have three if he clicks on three then he will be redirected here and if he is logged in then it will automatically show here the name 
and the email id and clear if he clicks on clear then uh, this entire car, whatever items he have added in the cart all these items will get empty and if he clicks on checkout then the order will get placed and it will show in the order history and the date and time and the order number in the total if he clicks on track then it will show what is the status of the track like either whether the order has been dispatched or like is it in transit or is it out for delivery or is it already delivered whatever the status of the order shipping that will be displayed here next is the detail if user clicks on detail then he can see what all items he has selected what is the quantity what is the rate and the sub rate and the uh, shipping charges address everything whatever he has uh, the user has submitted for that order that he can see then the next the same order will be displayed in the order section of the admin panel and uh, what the admin can do is like he can click on track he can sub change the status of the order like is it in transit mode or whatever it is then he can put a comment like uh, what location or uh, if sub suppose the the order is like out for delivery and uh, the, or the the customer is not available at home then out for delivery and the re uh, retry whatever he can put the comment and that will be available to the user and uh, the same details whatever are available to the user same details are being visible to the customer as well and this is the login screen so these are all the screens which we are going to develop as a part of this video series uh, we will be going we will be showing you like step by step tutorial of how to develop this entire project and uh, so see you in the next video uh, that's it in this video i just wanted to walk you, walk you through about different screens you can subscribe our channel like comment share and if you have any query you can just let us know thanks for watching the video